Street Fighter V. It is time for Oro. Nichirin. I forgot how loud this game was. God damn it. This game in particular is like super loud. But, uh... I'm gonna turn that down to sane levels there. So I'm Lycanthrope R, and I'm here to guide you through um, Oro and Akira for Street Fighter V. Let's do this. So Nichirin Show. Charge back, forward and punch. Nichirin Show is a four move projectile special move. The light and medium versions of Nichirin Show vary in speed, while the heavy version fires a projectile diagonally upward. The EX version fires a projectile, which after traveling a certain distance reduces in speed and begins tracking the opponent. Oh. Though it disappears after some time, it's still a powerful ranged option. Onyanma. Onyanma is a special move where Odo attacks while rising. It can be used in combos and is an effective way of countering jump attacks. The light and medium versions of Onyanma are invincible to airborne attacks, making them great punishes for jump-ins. The heavy version has two stages to the attack, deals more damage, and is invincible to strikes and projectiles during the move. The EX version has full invincibility when activated, making it a great way to contend with your opponent's attacks. Onibi. So like forward, down, plus a punt, medium punch and kick. So Onibi is a V skill in which Oro fires off an orb with a slow curve trajectory. There are three different trajectories on which the orb can travel. Activate Onibi. Yeah. Okay, medium punch and kick to launch a projectile that bounces from Oro's feet to as high as his face. Input a direction on activating to change the directory of the projectile. You can have a projectile rise high up into the air or crawl along the ground. For example, there are three trajectories it can travel. Use the move from afar in tandem with Nichirin Show to put pressure on your opponent. Minomushi! Okay, so medium punch plus kick. Yep. The Minomushi is a V skill in which Oro performs a small hop forward while spinning. Press punch while in the air to perform Kaki Otoshi and press kick to perform Edo Uchi. The Minomushi follow up Kaki Otoshi is an overhead attack that can break the opponent's crouching guard. Educhi is not as punishable on block as Kaki Otoshi, making it a good option for a mid-range surprise attack. If the opponent suspects Minomushi and keeps their guard up, you can land without a follow-up and perform a throw instead. Mandikitan. Okay, so heavy, so hard punch plus hard kick. Mandikitan is a V-trigger that gives Oro access to the special moves Kishinki. The Kishiniki. <laughs> okay. And Kishin Kuchu Jigoku Guruma during jump, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> By making good use of double jump and Oro's quick step, you can dance around the opponent and catch him off guard going for a throw. All of his throws can be canceled into from normal attacks or special moves, giving them great combo potential. While active, Mamdukitan not only gives Oro access to new throws, but also increases his strike combo damage. Tengu Stone. Tengu Stone is the V-trigger in which Oro surrounds himself with three objects. These objects go flying toward the opponent with each of Oro's attacks, dealing additional damage. Input down plus hard punch plus hard kick to perform Tengu Midare Stone and generate five objects. Oro can move freely while attacking with Tengu Stone, allowing you to chain moves together that normally can't combo. Additionally, as part of the attack variety, as part of the attack, a variety of objects can appear, some of which have a low chance of dealing higher damage, etc. Tengu Midare Stone offers more powerful instant combos, but the more you use it, the more V-Timer you consume. Alright, so that's Oro. Do I get fight money? Yeah! Give me my fight money. Alright, so, without further ado, let's take a look at some of Ordo's trials here.
Ah, yeah. Nice and relaxing music. Let's get it on. Oh, that was... That is... That is a weird-ass angle. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. All right. So that's a normal hard punch. And that's the extra hard punch, alright. So Neo Riki, what the hell is Neo Riki? God damn it, game hurry. Alright, right, let's let's find out. Oh, okay, throw. This wasn't in the demonstration. Come on, game. Jinchu Atari. Jinchu yeah, Nobori. Tsunade Kai Tsunade Kayashi? Okay. Huh. Okay, so what are all these do? Let's find out. <laughs> okay, so that's the axe kick. So Tsunade Kayashi. Yeah. Alright, that's the the jumpy thingy. Yeah, that's the right, then, so then this is the throw. Yeah, very good. So that's the normal throw. You can combo that from normal attacks. Good to know. So you can just kind of smack them and smack them and grab them. Yeah. Oh, only some attacks, I guess. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. All right, so from here we got. Oh my goodness! All right, let's try that again. Oh, he didn't jump high enough, but there. Hmm. All right, let's make this work. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I got a new stick. This is the. Uh, Guilty Gear a PS5 stick by Hori. Um, we had an incident over the weekend where the uh, where the first one they sent me was a was a no good. Uh, it kind of broke on me as soon as uh, as soon as I tried to use it. But this one is okay for now. You know, you know, cross your fingers. Uh, you know, knock on wood. Uh, I don't think I have wood anywhere near me. Okay, but so like I'm still getting used to the button placements and stuff like that so uh, so it's like the start buttons and all all those things are in slightly different places but we got this it's okay whoops okay let's try that again <laughs> oh my goodness all right it's okay we're gonna get it <laughs> okay, so, so I'm hitting it. What the heck? Am I hitting it too late? Right, yeah, I guess I was. I was hitting it too early, that's what I was doing. Get in the right mindset. Ah, screwed it up. Almost got it. Oh my goodness. Gotta get the flow going. So Oro is not a character I would typically use, clearly. There we go. 
Nice job, Lycanthrope. You got this. Kaishi Genkotsu? What the hell is that? Okay, forward and medium punch. Kaishi Genkotsu. Tobuhiza. Hanejoda Mawashi. Tsunade Uchiyage. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's cool. If you don't move, he sticks his hand out and then it falls, but if you try to move afterward, it just automatically falls down into his hand. Interesting. Okay. Good looking out animators. You know, people were concerned about what happened to the happens to the turtle. <laughs> All right. So Oh, there's a there's a, a th there's a flip afterward. Okay. All right, so let's get it right. Oh, I, I, I missed. That's not right. In the world? How does this work? All right, well, work that time, okay. Hmm, all right, so standing hard kick, standing light kick. Uh, Tsunaneke Ashi, Minamushi, Edouchi, Oniyama. Something like that. Alright, let's give it a shot. Fail! <laughs> Fail! Oh my goodness, alright. That, that was not the EX version, okay. Oh, okay, so that's how that works. That's good. Whoops! Yeah. Now, I wasn't too sure about Oro's theme before, but I kind of dig it now. I get, I get the appeal now. This is good training music, yeah. Fail! Come on, man. Um, but why though? I don't understand. There we go. See, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, we can we can do this. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, it's okay. Oh my goodness, alright, so. See if I get the timing right. Come on, game! That was perfect! Okay, so you gotta be like. Yeah, okay, I, I got it now. Sadness. Ha! Take that. Alright, so. 
Oh, stand, standing hard kick. I, I can read. I swear I can read. Ah, uh, <laughs> it was right, right from the start. Screwed it up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, I'm not doing that fast enough. Oh, I missed, I missed the punch. Why didn't that work? <laughs> like how the turtle is yawning. Forgetting there's a flip kick afterward and screwed me up. All right. Oh, oh, come on, game. All right. So the game says I didn't do it. So. Oh my goodness. All right. Like what I do with the turtle. All right. So, all right. So now we're moving on to Tengu Stone combos. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. All right. So can I do it without looking at the demonstration? Let's find out. Ooh, that that wasn't right. Okay. Hard punch, hard punch, dummy. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, that's a target combo. That's why that keeps happening. Yes. All right, so I gotta wait a bit before I hit the medium punch. Oh, I'm alright. <sighs> so it's not... Oh, okay, I have to hold forward, I guess, for it to go somewhere. Hmm. You can't, you can't cancel into the Jinchu Atari from a medium punch, apparently. So, you just have to wait. Whoops! You have to hold forward. Oh my goodness. Alright, game. Uh, I need to wait longer. That time I just screwed it up. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that's. Why am I not getting the next move? Doing it too early is the problem. 
that, or that time was too slow. It's a balance. A little too slow. All right. I missed my window. Oh, come on, game. Work with me here. Oh boy, yeah, I get to... Uh, so let me try to combo from... Oh my goodness, I... Oh my goodness, I... You gotta... Can't even land right, come on, dude. Okay, that doesn't combo on its own. Oh my goodness, all right. It's okay, we got this. Oh, I missed, okay. Gotta time it right. Timing on the last one, so close. I got this, all right. I didn't charge it long enough. That last one requires a charge down. Ah, that was, wasn't close enough. Oh, what was that? What what happened there? Something happened, I don't know. I missed. <laughs> That's not correct. Damn it, I ain't charged long enough. Oh, that, that wasn't the correct move. Oh, come on, game. Come on, man. How's this one gonna work? All right, let's see. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh... Alright, let's take a look here. Okay, so we got the standing hard punch, gotta hold the button. Alright, got that. The Tengumi Dare Stone, which is the V trigger. Got the standing hard punch. Tsuda Kane. No, sorry. Tsuda Neke Ashi. Jumping hard kick. Standing medium kick. And Daishin Senbiki, which I assume is the. <laughs> no, <laughs> like the most unhip character I've ever seen, but it's fine. I'll fail. All right, we're we're doing great already. All right, so we need to figure out a way to. Right there, we go. Make that combo. Wait a minute. 
Oh, okay, make sure about that. I don't know what happened there. Oh god damn it. Alright. <laughs> Try again. Oh, that didn't combo correctly. Oh my goodness, alright. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. I got this. Oh my goodness, I don't got this, alright. Whoops! Let's try that again. That's not close enough. Come on, man. You were doing fine earlier. What happened? Dude, jumping hard, jumping hard, kick, standing medium. All right, we we can do this. All right, it's okay. Oops. My timing is terrible. Let's try. Okay, I know what's going wrong. No, that wasn't the right one. Man, get it together, man. That was far too slow. That doesn't hit shit. <laughs> like what? I'm supposed to combo with the all right, jump straight up. Yeah, jump straight up. I'll try that next time. All right. That's not gonna work. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Can no, that doesn't cancel into anything. All right. We got like. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to look at the demonstration. All right. like a whole bunch of more times. Having a good time. Oh, 
Oh, I missed. All right. Okay, so the problem was that I had waited too long between the hard punch and the the medium Tsuda Nekeyashi. That's what's going on. So, whoops. <laughs> Oh god. Ah, oh, that was the wrong. That was the wrong Tsunenekiyashi. That was the medium again. Almost at it. We're close. We're really close. Oh, I'm, I'm, my timing sucks. All right. Whoops. You fool. <laughs> We're just doing stuff now. Like, stop tripping at the finish line, old man. Oh. oh my goodness, sorry. Oh my goodness, sorry. Okay, I gotta cancel that. Held it for too long, maybe. Ah, uh, my finger slipped. That's right. Holla at your boy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yay, more fight money that I'm not going to do anything with. It's fine. Okay. No. All right. 10 out of 10 would play again. It's not now. All right, so now All right, so who is Oro and why? Why is Oro? Let's find out. Or I guess not. The game broke. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, okay, I guess we're just fighting. Fine. to look far in the distance, but if you look too far, you won't see what's on your foot. <laughs> I understand. Then, you are trying to search for that strange energy? Correct. 
After Bison was destroyed, the positive energy returned, and the world went back to normal. However, even in this tranquil atmosphere, I sense a source of disturbing energy from the one called G. To see through its true nature, I think I have no choice but to touch it directly with my soul. Now I see. That's why you were practicing against me. You wanted to try and refine your soul power. <laughs> I am sorry, old master. No need to apologize. Besides, I got this nice shirt from you as a little souvenir. I am very happy that you like it. The traditional Japanese crane pattern is very chic. You have such great taste. <laughs> <laughs> Then, old master, I will take my leave. Hmm. Hmm. Did you see that, Yamasin? She must be in love with me. <laughs> ah, if this could only have happened a century earlier. <laughs> Let's leave that for now. I do sense a strange energy. <laughs> it is as I suspected. Eee. Anyhow, it's time for dinner. Okay. <laughs> a little hungry myself, actually. Hello! I thought we might have a meal together. Welcome, old master. You came all this way just to share a meal? Well, perhaps we could have a little talk while the curry is simmering. Let me pose a question to you. What happens when evil ambition drives the world to the brink of destruction? Bison, I can only assume you are talking about him. However, that man no longer exists. Am I right? If you are convinced it was his psycho power and his tremendous army, which sent the whole world into crisis, then I would say we have avoided the worst possible outcome for the time being. However, what if a real threat does not have a physical form like an army, but is something intangible, like a force of will? What if it is his dark ambition itself that is trying to swallow the entire world? Do you mean, even after his death, his dark ambition is still corrupting our world? That is difficult for me to imagine. Then please, allow me to surmise. Surmising. <laughs> you wish to battle me, but you are about a century too early. Expect that. Old oh, master, you are most unpredictable. Ha ha ha! How was that? Well, this may have been just for fun. Even if something was just for fun, and if one has the sheer will of force to win, no matter what, or if one is willing to consider the possibility of losing, the result could be entirely different. My mind did not consider this. Oh. The will of Bison? Could it be? Yes, the dark ambition of that man with his tremendous power has already been exerted upon this world. It consistently threatens our existence. If he has used that concept to instill his will into others, 
then the apocalypse may yet come to pass. So you're saying, even after Bison's death, we still can't stop the world from moving towards destruction? Sadly, yes. And that, my dear friend, may be the true nature of psychopower. Corrupt and control people's minds. It is indeed quite disturbing. In that case, how do we avert that which is inevitable? Well, firstly, you could stop with a pessimistic attitude. Consider this. If such a powerful force of will could threaten the entire world, then those people, in the right state of mind, may have the power to save it instead. What is strength? Most who seek it end up vying for domination or destruction. Such things are a natural consequence, but they are ultimately meaningless. To overwhelm, subjugate, or even kill those who oppose you is but one interpretation of strength. However, if one's mind were free from such desires, and they sought out strength purely for its own sake, if a human with such a clear and unselfish state of mind does indeed exist, then that person can prevent the impending apocalypse, but only that person with that kind of strength. Mm-hmm. Oh. Aha! Well then, I believe that the curry is finally ready. Oh. Yes. Shall we? I'm starving. Yes. But, old master, I'd like to hear more of your thoughts on this. Perhaps you young people should figure it out. Ah, I'm starving. Wait, wait, what so, happened? what kind of curry have you prepared today? <laughs> but, old master, I... To seek strength purely for its own sake. To find someone in this world who is both pure of mind and pure of heart. That would also be very interesting. <laughs> Abandon all hope, old man. I see. Fair enough. Okay, well that's enough Oro for for one day, I guess. Alright, so let's take a quick break and we'll come back with um, the second new character, um, Akira from Rival Schools. It'll be fun! Well, yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that.